Next, 7.2 parallel axis theorem for area. So now, this theorem relates the moment of inertia of an area about an axis passing through the area centroid to the moment of inertia of the area about a corresponding parallel axis. So, why we want to use uh, this method? Because this theorem has many practical applications, especially when working with the composite area. So, now you refer to this figure. So, this is the X, this is the Y axis, and this is the origin. So, previous one. Uh, we study the moment of inertia without the, without passing the centroid. So now, based on this area, so based on this area, so let's say this is the centroid. This is the centroid. So this is the centroid. So when we have the centroid, so we can have the new axis for the centroid. So, let's say we name it as the X prime. So, for Y, we name it as the Y prime. Right? Right. So, now, this is our area. Uh, this is our area, DA. So, this is the DA. So, now, how we want to get the moment of initial for this DA? So... Now, consider an area with centroid C and then the X prime and Y prime as is passing through C. So, the moment of initial about the X as is which parallel to and distance dy from the X prime as is is formed by using the parallel as a theorem. So, okay, now we want to uh, substitute into the equation. Right. So, the... Um, what we call this, huh? the principal equation. Okay, so this is the principal equation. So the principal equation, the moment of initial about the x axis is i x is equal to um integration of a y squared d a. Right. So now the new one, the new one, we want to get this. Moment of initial dA, which means that this dA is passed through the centroid. Uh, so it means that we have the uh, x prime because we have centroid here, and then this one we have y prime. All right. So now we're going to substitute the new one. So this is the x y zero. Okay. So here we want to substitute what is the new distance. Ni, distance y squared ni. In, okay, now, um, we want to get the new distance. So, this is our new distance, right? From the x axis to the area. This is the new distance. So, this distance, we can say that y is equal to y prime plus dy. So, y prime Y prime is this from, from the X prime. X prime is the from the central right, from the centroid to the area is become Y prime, and then dy, dy is from the axis, X axis. So this X axis to the centroid is dy. Okay, understand? Right. So now we want to substitute. Y is equal to Y prime plus dy into equation. So, we want to substitute into here. So, it becomes like this. So, you substitute um, Y, this one, Y into this. So, it becomes like this. So, you have integration A, uh, Y prime plus dy squared dA. Alright, understand? How to get the new distance? Uh, Alright, so uh, now we want to using the definitions of centroid. 
So we uh, study before uh, that the um, centroid y prime bar. The equation is y prime dA divided by the dA. Still remember the centroid? Okay. So uh, based on that, so now since C is the origin of the x prime and y prime at this, so the centroid is equal to zero. So we can um, eliminate uh, whatever y prime dA is become zero. So here you check. You check uh, at this equation. So this equation is come from here. Okay, when we expand, so we can get like this. So we can get the integration y prime squared dA plus 2 dy integrations area y prime dA plus dy squared integrations of dA. So now we want to have this one. So we y prime dA is become 0. So this one is y prime dA. So this one becomes 0. And then this one is also become 0. And then we only uh, leave for this one. So we have the ix is equal to, we have the new one. So we have this ix is equal to ix prime plus a d y squared. Okay, because of this one. So this formula, <coughs> this formula is used for the parallel and the theorem. So, uh, we need to use this for the composite one. For the composite. Okay. So, uh, the Ix prime, you can get from the table. From the table. Okay. And then, similarly, we can have the equation for the Iy. Iy. Is equal to i y prime plus a d x square, and then we can have the polar moment. We can have is equal to j c plus a d square. So this one i y prime j c, you you may have it from the table. Later I will show you. Okay, understand? So uh here the new the new thing here is d y d x and D. What is the parallel instant? How to get the dy, dx, and d? Okay, now you may refer to this figure. Okay, you may refer to this figure. So, what is the what is the meanings of this uh, parallel as a theorem? So we have the new one i x is equal to i x prime plus a d y squared. All right. So the first figure. So this is the first figure, second and third. Okay. So refer to this figure. I x prime is the central moment of inertia. So uh, this area here is the central axis. So uh, we, we say that this is the central and then we have the new axis for the ix prime and iy prime and for this axis is the original axis x and y is the original okay the next figure two so the next figure two uh, we want to determine the parallel distance right so the parallel distance so uh, from the axis x to the central, we call it dy. And then, from the y distance to the central, we call it as dx. So, that is the parallel distance. Okay, understand? Parallel distance means that we need to measure from the origin to the central. Alright? Okay. So, uh, A, D, Y squared, yeah, A is the area lah. And then D is the distance between X and X primes. And D, X is in between Y and Y prime. Okay, so now, uh, this is the 
I X. So I X is the moment of initial about the X Z. So we can uh, add. Okay, we add this one I X prime plus with the A D Y squared. Right? Understand? Okay. Now seven point three. 7.3 radius of gyrations of area. So, what is the radius of gyration? So, you can see this figure. So, let's say uh, this is the element. So, that element, we have here Kx. Uh, Kx. So, uh, this is the area. Area means that uh, similar that given in the moment of initial. Okay. So, imagine that um, the entire area is located at the distance kx from the x exit. So, uh, we understood that ix is equal to kx a. Or, we can um, get the derivation for the kx is equal to square root ix divided by the area. So, this is the formula for the kx. Similarly, we also can get the radius of gyrations for the ky. Alright, so this is the ky. So this is the area. So ky is equal to square root i y divided by a. And similar for the polar radius of gyration square root polar moment of inertia divided by a. So, the radius of gyration has unit length and give an indication of the spread of the area for the exit. So, this one will be important when you want to design the column. So, you will study design column uh, in mechanics of material or structure analysis for the next coming subject. But you must remember how to get the radius of gyration. So, meaning that to get the uh, radius of gyration Kx, Ky and the Ko is from the moment of initial and also its area. So, that uh, that's all for the radius of gyration.